What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. I am Cody Fisher, aka Lyrical Lord, and this is episode 39 of the vlog. And today's vlog is none other than a fast food mukbang. So we're going to Weaverville. We're going to get some good food. First, we got to stop at the ATM. Yo, listen everybody, new merch drop next week, all right? Next week. So without further ado, everybody, let's go to Weaverville and let's get this fast food mukbang part two started. Let's go. Could I do the um, impossible whopper, just the sandwich only, but can I do it plain? Can okay, an impossible whopper plain, anything else? And that'll be it. 620 at the first window. All right, thank you. They're finally using the first window for once? Dang. Yeah, my whole life, they've never used the first window. It's always been covered up with some sort of shelf rack, or you know, it's just, they've always like used a second window to pay plus to get the food. It's kind of strange. Meal one score. Wish I could eat it right now though. Sheesh. Starving. Where do we go next? I guess uh, we'll go to McDonald's and then we're going to Steak and Shake and we're going to Sonic and we're going to Dairy Queen. That's gonna be my four or my five muck banks. Went to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Could I do two plain McDoubles? Two uh, McDoubles plain? Yes, you can. And then, can I do one plain McChicken? Okay, just say it, sweetie. Okay. A plain, and you want a McChicken plain? Yes. And okay. then, also, a one of the spicy chicken sandwiches with just the spicy sauce and nothing else. Okay. Uh, plain? Yeah, just the sauce itself. And then I'll give you the uh, the sauce to go with it, which is uh, sweet chili Cajun sauce or spicy barbecue? Um, the sweet Cajun will be fine. Okay. And that'll be it. Alright, huh? Your total is, seven, is 640 at first window. Alright, thank, thank you. you. She was really sweet. Seven bucks for all that is almost how much I paid for the one single burger at Burger King, so. How are you? Huh? How are you? I'm good. All right, thank you. Okay. Alright, we are at Steak and Shake. I had to pull off just to make sure that the GoPro was not on time lapse mode because that would really suck. Hey, I have steak and shake, so I have a order. Could I just do a single steak burger with just cheese and nothing else on it? What else for you? And a small fry, and that'll be it. Hold on, a second one though. All 
right, three down, two to go. All right, see you as Sonic. I've been sitting in this line for like 20 minutes, bro. I think we're gonna go with the BLT without mayonnaise because mayonnaise is like gross. What about this, honey? What can I get for you today? Could I do a BLT toaster, just a sandwich, but can I get it without mayonnaise? No mayo, okay. What else for you? And that'll be it. All right. Notice that I've got the Yikers Island merch on right now. Rocking it. I did. 373, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, I'll be back. Alright. Alright, Dairy Queen, very last stop. Just went in the ABC store and got them to order Howler Head for me, so that's cool. Dairy Queen, how may I help you? Um, could you give me just a second? Take your time, you're good. All right, thanks. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. All right, ready when you are. Two. All right, could I do an order of the soft pretzel sticks? Soft pretzel sticks, yes, you can. Where else? And then a chili cheese dog. A chili cheese dog, all right. Well, and that'll be it. 5.2. All right. My wallet, my wallet. 5.22, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. for you you watch like YouTube and stuff yeah yeah if you want I got a flyer for my video or my channel if you want to go watch my videos sometime and see what you think it's just like a random blog a little bit of everything you know I will I love blog people so I got you so it's doing good so far awesome I'll, 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 I'll fly everywhere oh yeah man appreciate it thank you for watching free ice water in this beach Dope. Shout out to Dairy Queen. All right, let's get to the house. Finally, actually, I got a piss somewhere. All right, everybody. So, time for another mukbang. Are you excited? I know I am. Mmm. It's gonna be so good. Woo! Woo! All right. So first up, we went to McDonald's, and once again, I got the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Try saying that ten times fast. But for some reason, you know, remember last time it came in a box and stuff. But this time they gave it to me in this and gave me some Cajun and sweet chili sauce. Like why not decorate it? Like did I order the wrong thing? Anyways, we're gonna decorate it because that's what it looks like. You know, it kind of looks spicy. So we're gonna put a little bit of Cajun on, not a whole lot, you know, just enough. A little more than enough, but that's all right. Kind of smear that around, you know. And then the sweet chili. That looks so good. All right, so without further ado, let's give this another shot. That's actually better than the last time because I did it myself. Wow, oh, that's so good. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I like from McDonald's. Um, you know, this is one of them for sure. And then I like make doubles the most. I already have some of them in the fridge for later, you know what I'm saying? All right. All right, next up for McDonald's, we have a McChicken, okay? Now, if you love a McDouble, you're gonna love a McChicken. It's basically, you know, I get everything plain, just a chicken patty on bread. I love fried chicken. I love like breaded chicken, I guess you would say more. And this actually looks a lot better than they used to make them. Normally they used to be like, just like a round patty, you know, but this actually has a little bit of texture to it. Stepping it up, aren't we McDonald's? This is where it's at. 
way better than it used to taste also. It's literally like rained all day today. When I went to Weaverville, it was raining on and off. I sat in the drive-throughs for so long at a couple of spots, crazy. But it's worth it because it's so delicious and it's very well worth a good Saturday little hangout mukbang, if you will. So next up, Burger King. Let's go. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. The impossible Whopper time. So I've always heard that this actually tastes like a regular Burger King cheeseburger, but when I said plain, I mean, they literally didn't even put cheese on it. So that, I mean, whatever, you know, some people get confused. Oh, so let's try it out. Impossible Whopper. This is not meat. This is like plant-based. This is like a Beyond Burger, you know? Let's go. This is amazing. Yo, that literally does taste like just a regular cheeseburger. This is a veggie burger and it is absolutely 10 out of 10 incredible. So, you know, I like veggie burgers and stuff. I really do so much. And this is absolutely one of the best that I have tried so far. I'm not sure if you would consider this like a veggie burger or what exactly you would call it, but Impossible Whopper, amazing. It's expensive though. This was like 630, 640 for just this, when I got all that food at McDonald's for the same price. But you know, you pay for quality. So good, dude. I definitely recommend going to Burger King and getting the Impossible Whopper, maybe with cheese on it though, because that was just kind of like plain. So next up, let's go eat some steak and shake. All right guys, so now we have steak and shake. Wait steak and shake wonderful place wonderful place i used to eat there a lot when i used to work at subway and we've revealed i would go down to steak and shake every now and again get a little steak burger get some fries you know they have excellent milkshakes i'm gonna tell you what you ever go to steak and shake and you want a good milkshake red velvet cheesecake milkshake the best so let's get started with this. I just got like a single steak burger and some fries. So, so you know, just a little average little steak burger, but they like get it extra crispy around the edges. If you can see that, that's why I like it so much because it's like an actual crispy type of hamburger. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It kind of has a different taste than a lot of other places. It is really good. If you like things charred, kind of like Burger King does, you'll like this for sure. Let's try a couple fries or two. Look at that, that's professional looking, huh? Commercial status, hashtag. The sun has finally came out, guys, for real. Rainy all day until like right now. These are average french fry. Hey, look, that looks like an L, that's dope. That's authentic, I didn't do that. I don't really eat french fries very much, but these are okay. I definitely give Steak and Shake 10 out of 10, 100%. So good. So I'm going to finish these fries, go inside, come back, and we're going to test out a Sonic menu item. All right, everybody. So let's try a Sonic BLT lettuce tomato, no mayonnaise, because I'm not down with that, right here. I have never tried BLT from Sonic. I love a good BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. Used to not like tomato, love them now. And this is actually pretty professional looking as of what I'm seeing so far. Let's take this off. Look at that bacon, dude. Holy, that's one piece of bacon, dude. So without further ado, let's try it out. Okay. I mean, it's good. It just kind of tastes like your average BLT, you know? So it's good. I literally waited like 23 minutes in line, I felt like, to get this. But it's worth the vlog, so. I've had a lot of really good food so far. Probably Steak and Shake would be my like favorite choice of a burger because I really like charred type of burgers, you know? So good. Overall, I give this an eight out of 10. All right, so now to move on to the very last one, Dairy Queen. 
All right, everybody. So the very last meal of the mukbang is a Dairy Queen chili cheese dog. Chili cheese dog, Dairy Queen. I got some pretzel bites too, but I'm gonna save those for later. So you probably won't see that on this vlog, but I'll let you know in the next vlog how good they were, because I'm sure they'll be delicious. Uh, oh, excuse me. I just burped on my hot dog. Mmm, that's legit. That's good. That's really good. It's like a hot dog, you would eat it like a campfire. Speaking of campfire, go watch the campfire vlog if you have not already. So overall, I would probably say Burger King Impossible Whopper, McDonald's Chicken, okay? Steak and Shake, Sonic, and then Dairy Queen. But every single bit of food that I just ate was overall, overall, I'm gonna be generous here, 10 out of 10. But that chicken sandwich from McDonald's, whoo! And the Impossible Whopper just tasted literally like a cheeseburger. Thank you all so much for tuning in to episode 39 of the vlog. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.